Discovering a cheating spouse used to take a keen eye, lipstick on the collar, or a phone number scrawled on a napkin. The very first time I saw something in this office was like 10 or 12 years ago when people were sending pictures back and forth, from, uh, but that was before Facebook. But with Facebook now boasting more than 500 million users worldwide, it doesn't take a private eye to sift through people's private lives. They're posting the juicy details for the world to see. The social networking site is so popular, you'll see it in theaters this fall. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. The site has become a Venus flytrap of sorts for cheaters says local divorce attorney Nancy Rommelman. Well, uh, there's a lot more people having affairs, seeking affairs online. Uh, people are seeking relationships in uh, cyberspace and um, uh, wanting to have uh, affairs online and seeking chemistry online. The other thing that you're finding is that divorce lawyers are seeking out these resources for discovery and finding out damaging information that can be helpful to their side of the case. They always get caught in the end because it's too easy for, you know, friends of a friend of a friend of a friend to go in and look at, you know, what the guy or girl, because girls cheat too, guys, sorry. And the majority of Rommelman's clients, dads. Women are every bit as savvy on the internet, if not more so than the men. Uh, and so, yeah, I represent an awfully lot of, of men seeking custody where their wives have been online, seeking relationships outside the marriage. Um, you know, saying that they're home taking care of the children. They're really not home taking care of the children. So that, that comes up very often. Rommelman has worked with spouses who discover their partner is living a double life through their cell phone, email account, or social networking. Her advice, if you think you're um, being duped, you want to see if they have any blog sites or if they're venting online out there about you or about the children or about the process. Uh, that's not a good thing to do. It's not good to be out there talking smack about your spouse when you're going through a custody case because you're not supposed to be talking bad about your spouse when there's children involved.